Today I'm taking the Wavelink Dual M.2 SSD enclosure with offline clone. Okay, so we got some vents around the back, nothing on the sides, on the front. We got power, USB-C, and the clone button. That's a very nice feel to it. Sometimes they kind of feel like they snap into place. This one actually kind of feels more like it locks into place. It's a very nice feel to it. Now, if we take a look, we can actually see this will accommodate SATA as well as NVMe. For the NVMe, we got M key, and for the SATA, we have B and M key. For cloning, we have a switch right here, and we have a label to let us know if we're going from SATA to PCIe or PCIe to SATA. We got our instructions. We got our cable. This is USB-C to USB-A, but it also has an adapter on it, so we can go USB-C to USB-C. Here's our power supply. It says that's good for 100 to 240 volts, so that's good for international or domestic. That it puts four amps at five volts. It comes with a couple of thermal pads and our buttons locking those M.2s into place. I'm be cloning from NVMe to SATA, so I'm going to switch this to the NVMe side. Okay, and it did pick that up right away. It is playing those files. Cool, so I can actually read both drives at the same time. So let's do a speed test. Okay, so for a sequential one bit by eight process one thread, we got 1068 on the read and 1052 on the write. For a sequential one bit by one process one thread, we got 866 and 895. For the random 4K 32 process one thread, we got 263 and 301. And for the worst case scenario, random 4K one process one thread, we got 38 and 79. So perfectly acceptable speeds for a 10 gigabit reader. Now let's go ahead and check the SATA drive. Okay, and we are getting speeds that are completely acceptable for a SATA drive. So, no issues there. I also like that they actually got lights on here for each drive, so we know that it is in fact reading both drives. That's important that the drive you're going to be cloning to has to be the same size or larger than the drive that you're cloning from. So, we're going to press and hold. So you can see right now we're at 25%. percent we go ahead and let this clone, and then we'll come back to it. So that was surprisingly quick. Usually it takes like a half hour at least to do a full clone. I came back in 10 minutes, and I was already done. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. Okay, so it is currently only showing the one drive. So we're going to go to Disk Management. And we will online that new drive. And there we go. And we got all the same files. So that's excellent. So if you're looking for something where you can clone from an NVMe to a SATA or vice versa, or even if you just want something where you can read both of those styles of drives, this is going to be a great option for that.